All right, constructing a kite. Now, a kite we know uh, is a quadrilateral. It has consecutive sides twice, but those two sides, uh, but opposite sides aren't congruent, which is unlike a parallelogram. Uh, the one good thing that we know about a kite is that the diagonals, uh, they are perpendicular. So that's actually going to be the basis for our construction. All right, so the way we're going to start off is I'm just going to draw a line, as always, just a line. It's just a line. There's a, no, no, never mind. Not going to get any sort of a song. Okay, I'm going to line. I'm going to make this line my short diagonal. Now, to do that, uh, I'm going to just pick two arbitrary points. We'll call it there and there. Totally random. Just, I'm just picking up, that's the length I want my short diagonal to be. Now, from here, we, again, we use the fact that diagonals of a kite are perpendicular. So all we need to do is find a line, that is, draw to construct a line that is perpendicular to this one, but also that will go through the center, because that's another property of our kite. Now, fortunately, we have a couple of... Uh, constructions that we have done in the past, but namely a very short and simple one that will give us not only a perpendicular segment, but a perpendicular bisector, which is ideally what we want here. To do that, I'll take my compass, and I extend it really to any length as long as it's more than halfway of this distance. And I'm just going to draw, put my uh, non-pencil end on one point and just draw pretty much a semicircle. And uh, we don't want to move it. We want to make sure the compass stays the same width the entire time. So there's my semicircle. It's fairly light. Not that it really matters. Okay, so the, I got my one semicircle. Without changing the width of my compass, I put the non pencil in on the other point and draw another semicircle. Good part is that they will intersect at two locations. So there's one. And if I want to continue it, hopefully it'll stay. There we go. I'll go back. That one looks okay. Let's make sure it goes back this way as well. Okay. And if I were to draw a line through those two spots where the arcs intersect, which are there and there, and I draw a line through it, There is my perpendicular bisector. All right. So now we've got the basis of our kite, kind of like if you were making any, like a kite regularly. So now the matter is, how long do I want my short side and how long do I want my long side? Well, I'm going to be honest, that's completely up to whoever's constructing that kite. If I had a specific length, let's say I wanted one of my sides to be I don't know, that wide, whatever the distance is between my, the non-pencil end and the pencil end of my compass. I'll say I want it to be that long, and then it's a real simple process. You put the non-pencil end on one of those points, and you draw an arc, and oh hey, it by, hits that uh, perpendicular bisector at that spot. And if I've done this correctly, I'll just move to the other dot, and I'll do the exact same thing over here, and they should intersect right on my line. And what happens is, is if I connect the dots, I've got one set of sides, consecutive sides, that will be congruent. All right. Now, because kites don't have, by definition, four congruent sides, I'm going to want to make this side go a little bit longer. So I'm going to say my longer sides are, I don't know, that big, kind of arbitrary, up to the drawer, or excuse me, the constructor. But it's the same thing. I put the non-pencil end on one point, and I draw an arc. And again, if I've done this correctly, I'll do it again on this side. They should intersect 
very close to the line. Now it appears though I'm slightly off, so I'm going to amend that. Might do it again just to make sure I get as close as I possibly can. That's a little better. There we go. And it looks like they're about there-ish. And then I connect those dots. And I should have another set of consecutive sides that are congruent. And there she is. Our kite. A couple of things to notice, by the way. A kite, as I've mentioned, has consecutive sides that are congruent. So ideally, I could measure this side with my compass, and uh, this side should be the same. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And I can do the same over here and say that that distance should be darn close to that. Looks good to me. And it looks like I've got a pretty solid kite here. All righty, we're done.